I just got a call and I think I'll share it with you because it was a mentee session. I was mentoring my mentee who called me out of the blue after some time. Now I can see why people don't call me. He was upset. He was very angry that he wasn't being accepted or treated in the manner that he thought he should be treated. So as with everything else, I told him a story that happened to me recently and I'll share it with you. I was invited to an event some three months ago. The action person, I gotta be careful to keep the time, the person and the place confidential. The action person said when they saw my bio, they were so excited that they would have a person of my calendar, caliber to be at their event. Some recently, as of a couple of weeks ago, the person called me and said, I am so sorry Dr. Shabazz, my supervisor has disinvited you from the event. This person was in tears. This person was so upset. Uh, upset. This person says, I'm going to EO. I'm going to IG. We are going to a, B, C, and D. And I say, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't wish for you to ruin your career standing up for me. I'll be fine. You know why I'll be fine, person? Because I don't go to places that don't want me to come. I don't beg to get in places that don't want to see me there. I am not a person that needs to be among people who don't like me, who don't respect me, and who don't adore the company that I provide. You see, I'm a person of excellence. I'm a person that uplifts people. I'm a person of inspiration. And if you want that in your organization, I'm your guy. But if I'm not that person, then it's fine. I won't be angry at you. I won't curse you. And I most certainly won't turn you into any higher authority because I have inside of me the self-worth, the self-esteem, and the wherewithal to like myself. And I don't need you to like me. This person called back and she said, my hire wants to meet with you one-on-one -on -one and explain his position. I said to this person, 100% <laughs> truth. I said to this person, your hire would do well not to meet me in person. Your hire would do well to stay where he is. I have accepted that you don't want me. I have accepted that I can't be a participant in your event. I have accepted that. But what you don't want to do is look me in my eye, face to face, nose to nose, teeth to teeth, and explain away your foolishness because this big teddy bear would then become a grizzly. So I accept your disinvitation to your event. And I say to you, I am actually fine with that. Now I'm coming to you. Your problem is, in my humble opinion, is you always trying to fit in somewhere that folks don't want you. 
You're always trying to fit in somewhere where people don't like you and enjoy you because you have self-esteem problems. You have self-worth problems. And when you understand what you are worth, you will stop giving people discounts. You see, I don't believe in the old axiom, speaking truth to power. You can't speak truth to power because they are drunk with power. I speak truth to empower human beings. And it is in speaking that truth to empower human beings, I most certainly empower myself. How do you empower yourself? You become a person of excellence. You become a man or a woman who stands 10 toes down on your feet for your principles, for your values, and who you are as a human being that God made you on this earth. You don't have to beg to be a part of something that somebody doesn't want you a part of. You should sit down because you are embarrassing yourself your family and your legacy now if they accept you and they're not comfortable with you and they're fine trying to find ways to assimilate you and accommodate you that's a whole nother story but my message to you is to stop begging you ain't no prostitute. You ain't no beggar. You ain't destitute. Your mind has to be strong that if God is with you, who can be against you even if you don't achieve what you think you should achieve? You have to achieve some self-worth and some dignity about yourself. As I was riding home, you most certainly is not, are not going to like this. As I was riding home, thinking about the message that the young mentee got from me, and I'm sure he won't call me back. I was thinking that I understand why, why some leaders gave up on you I understand that with that type of dysfunction while they threw up their hands and say I would rather live alone destitute by myself without the agency of people who are constantly groveling when are you going to stand up and be a man a woman that you're supposed to be no 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 we're not talking about some ethnicity we're not talking about some religion we're not talking about some gender we're talking about human beings who like to give up their disposition for a piece of paper and you become undignified and then those people in your life don't like you and then you want to punish them for not liking you for not having a disposition about yourself you walk around quoting stuff that you don't live you walk around quitting every day because you're afraid that you ain't gonna be accepted and you ain't gonna be liked i would apologize for my passion but my passion is my gift because I remember laying on a Texas street about to die and I asked God to make me whole and I stand here whole and I ain't begging and groveling for nobody I stand in my truth have a great night